All right, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Sam here with GSK Wealth Builders. Today we're going to be doing a token analysis on Vertcoin. So one of the people on the channel asked for asked for this analysis, just what I thought about Vertcoin, and they wanted me to do a they wanted me to do a technical analysis video, but I actually don't do TA because I mostly hold coins for for years. So it doesn't really matter if you're buying the coin at ten dollars or twelve dollars, but uh, that's why I don't I don't do TA. So uh, what we're going to go over is just what I look for in a coin to see um, if it's a viable investment or not for the long term. So let's get into it. So I have this spreadsheet here on Airtable, and I go over the coins and I record. I just record the information for historical purposes. So this one's Vertcoin. Uh, so I'm going to put it there, and then I'm going to put. Uh, so the first thing I do for the analysis on the launch pad is I put the coin's name. Then the second thing I do is what it is. So I have no idea what Vertcoin was, but uh, this is the question. So I started watching the channel. We learned about Helium a while ago, and I must say all of your content is solid. Would love to hear your data and technical analysis on Vertcoin. VTC is hashtag to Titan. I don't know what that means. This summer, and then they put uh, the diamond hands and a rocket. So hashtag to Titan. I don't know what that means, but maybe that's something special about the coin. So, anyways, uh, so what is Vertcoin? I don't know. So it looks like it is number four forty eight. Uh, number 448 on coin market cap so it's worth 80 million dollars so it's a medium cap coin it looks like it has its own explorer so i'm guessing it's a blockchain yeah uh, if they have their own explorer so you can see that on uh, coin gecko well let me see here so vert coin explorer yeah so it's a blockchain um yeah they're referencing the btc price and the us dollar price which i'm not sure why they would do that they have a hash rate difficulty of 150 outstanding 59,000, 59 million vtc blocks looks to be going here and then there's the rich list so the biggest wallet holds six percent of the coin Second biggest wallet, 6% of the coin. Those are probably the developers. And then the top 10 wallets hold 25%. The top 100 wallets hold 50% of the coin. And the top 1,000 wallets hold 1,000% of the coin. So it's pretty uh, it's pretty concentrated when it comes to ownership. So it's not decentralized at all because you could have ten the top 10 people doing 25% of the votes. So if you can convince them on what you're going to do, uh, or what you want to do, they can just do whatever they want. So I don't really care for decentralization, but a lot of people do. So uh, we'll just go through the criteria. So Vertcoin. So it's a blockchain. VTC. Uh, VTC like BTC okay and the current price of it is a dollar 36 market cap 80 million grade so I have to grade it uh, either a buy or a shit coin or a hype coin so I know what to do with the coin. So sometimes if I, I do trade sometimes, but it's really rare. It's like a day, two days, just like a little swing trade. Then I'll put the size of the position. So obviously the size would be small because I don't know anything about it yet. The relevance. Okay, so relevance is something I check on the volume compared to the market cap. So you look at the volume, you're looking at 300,000 volume. 80 million market cap so right away i wouldn't i wouldn't buy this coin but if you're mining it you're almost getting the coin for free right but i wouldn't buy this coin because if it doesn't have any volume how do you get out if you're buying a big position and only three hundred thousand dollars is traded a day 
if you have a twenty thousand dollar position, that's like ten percent, almost ten percent of the daily um, volume. So I'm not sure what's going on with this coin, but if you're mining it, it makes sense to mine. So super VC. So now we're, I'm going to check. The next thing I do is I go and I check their website, and I see if there's any information on investors website seems pretty not very much information on the website just the mining setup one click miner so you can mine this on your you can mine this on your computer no premier no ico no airdrop it is not funded or controlled by any entity okay so it's an open source gpu bitcoin rare and that mirrors btc development interesting created 2014 so it's open source so what i like about it is anyone can use this but what i don't like about it is if you have no vc investors how or how do you monetize the coin so anyways there's no vcs so in my criteria on, on buying coins that's not good uh so no vcs no mid-tier VCs, research date was eight. So no volume, no VCs, ICO date, we're gonna just say, I don't know, 2014. Um, what problem are they solving? So are they solving a problem that's big enough to matter? It's a graphics card mined version of Bitcoin in January 2014 as a response to the Litecoin A6 control. It's important that every day the people look at desktop computers can mine. So, yeah. So, were they solving a problem that was big in 2014? Yes. In 2021, no, because we, we want to be on staking. We don't want to be on mining. We want to be on staking. So, what problem are they solving? Giving accessibility. Which is a cool problem back then, but I don't know about now. Um, what's the next question? How are they going to solve it? They already did, but no one's using the coin because, oh, no one's using the coin because uh, there's no volume. So it looks like miners are just holding the coin and maybe dumping it. They didn't raise a cap raise, number of tokens. So I'm going to go see the number of tokens. So the circulating supply, it's already 59% of, uh, no, not 59%, like over 50% of the circulating supply. So 59 million. 84 million is the max. So maybe the Titan, hashtag two Titan, means they're going to staking. I don't know. Market cap. It's only one market cap on it. Who are the buyers and the sellers? So the buyers, the sellers are the miners. <laughs> The buyers, there's no buyers because there's no volume. Prototype, yes. Solid or influential advisors, nope. Are they better than the competition? That's subjective. I would say no. Real world competition, all the all, all blockchains. Social numbers, so Vertcoin on social media. Let's see what they're doing. They got a Reddit, they got a Twitter, and they got a Telegram, and they got a Discord. So I'll click them all, see what's going on. Fifty-eight thousand followers since twenty fourteen. I'm sorry, man. Like I, I like to support my uh, followers, but you, this is making it hard. Two po The Reddit has a little bit of volume. The Telegram is 800 members, so I wouldn't say that's that good. Um, the Discord, 10,000 members, 2,000 online, so the Discord's actually active. That's actually good. 
because everything else was looking abysmal. But um, we'll go here, Discord. Actually, I don't really need to go in there. Anyway, social media, attachments, notes. Okay. So if I was to, if I was to assess the coin, not having any outside information from other people, I would decide not to buy Vertcoin because if I'm going to hold this thing and it's doing no volume, what is it going to do? It's just, in my opinion, will go down. Now it is all season. So that's not to say that I'm right, but I'm just trying to, I, I'm like a baseball player, right? And you don't have unlimited swings, but you have unlimited pitches at you. So if someone's pitching me this coin, I'm not swinging at it. There's only 6,000 people following it on Coin CoinGecko. Um, now, when you look at the returns, in 30 days it did 100%. In a year it did 300%. So the coin's not doing bad. I'm just wondering where all that volume came from. Was it about news, right? So that's my analysis of Vertcoin. So once again, uh, all you're going to do is, let me see the form. Oh, that's not the right form. Delete the form. Open form. So I just have a form and I'm just going to show it to you. So this is the form, this is the criteria we just went over. So the token name, the type of platform. So I do love blockchains though, new blockchain. That's why I like Solana. Uh, the price, the market cap, the grade, the size of the investment, the relevance, didn't really have any relevance. Super VCs, none. Mid-tier VCs, none. Research date, the ICO date. What problems are they trying to solve? How are they going to solve it? Issues they will face. Uh, how much money they raised. That shows longevity. And the number of tokens, the total supply, the market cap, who are the buyers and who are the sellers? Is it the people? Is it the uh, industry? Is it, is it devs? Is there a prototype? Social media and influencers, are they better than their competition? What's the real world competition in social media? So that's how I look at a coin to just get the, the fundamental analysis of the coin. Then I'm like, does Vitalik care about this coin? Does Sam Bankman fried care about this coin? Does Joe Lubin care about this coin? Uh, Mike Novogratz, the really smart people that have been in crypto for a long time, if they're mentioning it or talking about it or saying these guys are doing a breakthrough, they probably did research too. So for them to say it publicly, they don't want to be embarrassed. Um, I'm going to trust that. But as of as of right now, that's it's a it's a pass for me. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the suggestion though, because uh, we need to do things like this. You, every time you get a coin that you don't want, you're one step closer to finding a coin that you want. Right. So um interesting so i could i guess mine vert coin so if i was going to mine a coin right now on my laptop i'd probably mine chia because chia just came out it's brand new i don't i don't know about pi but chia just came out it's brand new you need a terabyte on your hard drive and you can mine it right away and people were thinking it was going to come out at seven dollars or twenty dollars and it came out at twelve hundred dollars a coin so it's probably viable to mine chia right now um, I'm not going to be mining Chia, but that's what I would do instead of Vertcoin. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say quit Vertcoin if you're doing it, because if you're making money, you're making money. But that's my, uh, that's my analysis for today. So thank you very much. Um, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. I add new content weekly, at least two or three times a week. Turn your notifications on, and you can follow me at SamGSK on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, we'll keep bringing up more more videos. Thank you very much.